Just like a pallet, we land shit down. My man bitch and I shocked all town. Alright, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And wow, we gotta do a reaction video of um Devin Hayden talking about Ryan Garcia and shit. He's in the ring with us, the current WBC super lightweight champion. Devin? And this is after he slapped the shit out of Ryan. You are looking good, my man. Yes, sir. I feel great. Yeah? Well, what's this build-up been like for you? We, we've tried to kind of work out what's it been like for us, seeing Ryan's tweets, Ryan's Insta stories. What's it been like for you? You're the guy that's fighting him. Um, it's been a, it's been a different build-up uh, than what we're all used to. Uh, it might be the first time we've ever seen this type of build-up, but it's boxing. What can you do? It's certainly been stranger than any build-up I've ever seen i mean this week alone we're only on wednesday and already you guys had a scuffle at the top of the empire state building and for some reason we're not allowed to throw the first pitch out at uh at city field uh, in chase Stadium. how much is that has that gotten you how much of that has bothered you gotten under your skin if anything i mean none of it none of it uh, has gotten under my skin at the end of the day i'm a true professional when i get in that ring i'm gonna do my job no matter what no matter how i feel or what, what he says so uh he can say what he want to say um on, on Saturday night, I let my hands do the talking. You did give him a little bit of slap there the other day. What was he had it that? coming? He had it coming. <laughs> Everybody, everybody's been wanting to slap him, so I, I finally was able to do it for everybody else. Devin, this is the type of fight where it could be a fencing match between two fighters with great jabs. I, I always say it and praise that you have one of the best jabs in boxing, yeah. if not the best. Ryan Garcia has a fast jab, really powerful jab. This is the type of fight where if it does become a fencing match. Do you think you can win that fencing match with a jab only? Yeah, I mean, Ryan, Ryan has has speed, but I have the timing. So, um, you know, I just want to show how, how I'm levels above this guy. This guy is an average fighter with a name, you know, and, and, and that's just reality. At the end of the day, I'm a proven fighter, uh, proven champion. Uh, I, you know, I tested against the, the best fighters in the world, and I'm here for a reason, and it will show. Was you scared throughout the build-up that this fight might not happen? Was there any time you thinking, one second, this fight could be called off? Um, in the very beginning, but then after a while, I knew that, you know, that, that this thing was going to go no matter what he did, no matter what antics he was going to do. Uh, the fight was going to happen, and that's been, I've been tunnel vision. No matter who it was, this, this fight is bigger than, than Ryan Garcia for me. You know, it's, I'm, it's me versus greatness, me versus myself. And, you know, I'm here for a reason of the, the, the years and years of hard work and discipline and, and, and dedication. So this is just another fight for me. This is just another fight to show, you know, everything that I've, that, 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 that I've, that I've, you know, worked on, everything that I've did to get to this point will show. There's a, a lot of aggression right now coming out of Ryan to the point where he's talking about going after you right away from the opening bell. If that happens, what is your response going to be? I'll be ready. He'll run into something. Uh, to, I want him to come. Come on. Is that the kind of fight you want, a, a kind of a war in the middle of the ring? Tell him to come on. <laughs> I'll be waiting for him. That won't be hard to find. Devin, I've followed your career for so many years, and, and I look at this, and I look at all the cameras and all your accolades and what you've done so far. This is incredible what you've done so far in your career, and you're, you're only 25. Yes. It is, it is insane, isn't it? I mean, we was going running I mean, through I some of the names. Think. Ryan Garcia has nothing to lose anymore. That's scary. I can only thank Allah, alhamdulillah, because it's all a dream come true for me. You know, I dreamed to be here one day, and now the time has finally come. So, um, Allah is the greatest, you know. Allah is the greatest, and I'm just I'm, I'm just so thankful. Um, He's the, he's done this for me. And people were asking, we were talking about it, like, does Devin not like these kind of fight week responsibilities? My response was like, I think Devin's been kind of waiting for these opportunities because you kind of earned the accolades before some of the guys in and around your weight class did. You won the titles. You were jumping up in weight class, but you weren't getting the kind of coverage maybe that you deserve because that was like, this to me feels like stuff you've been waiting for for a long time. Yeah, no, it's been, it's, it's been a long time coming for me. Um, and, and now it's finally here. So, of course, I love I love everything. I love the build-up. I love all this. I love, uh, all this is part of it. This is what I signed up for. And I've seen the, 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 the champions do it before me, and I knew that one day I would be here one day. So the time has finally come. Why not? Why, I'm, why not embrace it? I love it. All right, so Friday comes around. You'll make 140? Come on now. <laughs> I, I, I'm setting <laughs> it up. I'm setting it up have there. Have I ever missed weight? No, you have. That's what okay. I'm setting up there. I'm a true professional. Even when I was killing myself to make 135, uh, I still was making the weight. 140 is much easier for me to make, and uh, come Friday, it won't be no different. I will make the weight, and I will be strong, and stronger I, than ever. Right, and I, I believe that. How confident are you that Ryan will make 140? I think he'll make it. Really? He looks big, but I think he'll make it. In some you? weird way, what do you think? In some weird way, you kind of, you're going to 
get a percentage of his purse if he doesn't make that weight. I think heavier, he's, it's going to be a disadvantage for him. So, in a way, if he doesn't make weight, it's, it's, it's going to work in your favor. What do you mean heavier? What do you mean? Well, if he doesn't make weight, and then he gets penalized, yeah. you know, you get a piece of his purse. I think it would be a detriment for Ryan Garcia to come in heavier against you, personally. I think he'll make weight. I, I think he makes weight. Uh, he'll make weight as well. Your dad was here, and your dad said you're chasing undisputed now at 140. Is that the goal now as well? 140 undisputed? 100%. You know, I want to. I didn't want it at first, but right now it's my time, and I'm. 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 I'm it's, it's my moment. So it's like, why not fight the best fighters in the world, test myself, show the world how great I am, and uh, get it while it's hot? What changed for you there? Because, like you said, at first, being undisputed 140 wasn't a priority. It was the biggest fights regardless of weight class. What made becoming undisputed in a second weight class more important for you? I'm just a competitor. You know, I want to be mentioned with the greats when it's all said and done. And uh, that's going to put me that, that, that much closer. Devin, good luck on Saturday, brother. Thank you. Good luck, Devin. Uh, big fight coming up for Devin on Saturday. Big fight for the zone. Big fights coming your way in the next few weeks as well. That awkward ass hand off. Nah, but um, who y'all feel like gonna win, bro? Comment, bro. Who y'all feel like gonna win, bro? Is 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 Ryan gonna really come out there and just sort of start swinging and beat him up, bro? I don't know what's gonna happen, bro, because Ryan almost beat up Tank. Niggas better stop sleeping on Ryan. Ryan could have beat up Tank. Tank just was moving and then threw a haymaker to his body. And he, he didn't have no air anyways because he had to lose 20 pounds before the weight, before the dang thing. He was on the, the – man, nobody's ever fucking signed for that type of contract in history, bro. Ryan or C, you're you literally are going crazy, bro. But, yeah, man, like, comment, share, subscribe, man. And Bob, man, come on. Y'all thought I wasn't going to be here. I'm here. Come on now.